Hello and welcome to part 2 of the programmable LED flasher from ERM. My name is Tony and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. This is the PLEDF02 and is a 2 output programmable LED flasher. Let me start off by saying that this is one cool product. A compact encapsulated flasher that is fully customizable. It's easy to install, easy to program and packed with features. Capable of handling 5 amps per side, this flasher lets you set up your ride the way you want. This flasher has six wires. The red wire is connected to a constant 12 volt source for your outputs and should be fused to a maximum of 15 amps. Your blue and yellow wires are your two outputs. The last three wires are a green wire for the flasher ground, an orange wire for mode 1, and a white wire for mode 2. Mode 1 and mode 2 can be operated independently from each other. However, if mode 2 is activated while mode 1 is on, mode 2 overrides mode 1. Now let's talk about how easy it is to program. This flasher has three waterproof push buttons, which does away with the era of tapping wires. These three buttons give you access to all the features on the flasher. This flasher is programmed with 16 base patterns and one steady burn feature. The flasher's program allows you to scroll up and down through the flash pattern list, manipulate the number of pulses of each pattern, and control the flash rate of said patterns. The three push buttons are referred to as buttons 1, 2, and 3. To scroll through your flash patterns, button 3 scrolls up through the list while button 2 scrolls down. To change the flash rate, button 1 is programmed to reconfigure buttons 2 and 3 from being scroll down and scroll up buttons to being slow down and speed up buttons, while holding down button 1, providing multiple presses of either the slow down or speed up feature will alter the flash rate creating a slower or faster flash rate depending on what you have selected. If you want to reset your flash pattern to the factory default setting, simply press and hold buttons 1, 2, and 3 in that order and release. The flash rate will then be reset to the original factory setting. To change the pulse count, holding down buttons 2 and 3 reconfigures button 1 from being the flash rate button to being the pulse record button. While still holding down buttons 2 and 3, press and release button 1 the number of times you want the light heads to flash. For example, if you wanted a quad flash, you would press button 1 four times. Each time button 1 is pressed and released, the outputs will turn on and off, giving you a visual indication of a confirmed press. Releasing all buttons will then display the newly programmed pulse count. Using these features exponentially increases the flash pattern list. These features are available on both modes 1 and 2. Simply connect the appropriate mode wire and set the pattern, rate, and pulse count. Each time that mode is activated, the pattern will display as you programmed it. Now that we've introduced the features of this product, let's see it in action. Okay, we've connected our flasher to a set of grill lights. Before we begin, I'd like to mention a few things. First, when creating our flash pattern list, we made sure to include both alternating and simultaneous patterns. Second, when setting the pulse count, your selection will be carried over to each pattern. For example, if you set the pulse count to a double flash, each pattern will display a double flash. However, the ability to adjust the flash rate is only available on certain patterns. Where some of our patterns contain a variable speed flash pattern, to set a fixed value would prevent the pattern from being variable. So, for these patterns, we created another variable feature which we'll discuss when we reach those patterns. When we apply power to the orange wire, you'll see the flasher is on pattern 1, which is an alternating pattern you'll also notice it's displaying a single flash. If you want to change the number of pulses per side, press and hold buttons 2 and 3 until the light heads go out. Then press button 1 the number of times you want the heads to pulse. If you want a quad flash, press button 1 four times. Each time button 1 is pressed, the light heads will turn on and off. Once you've pressed it four times, release all the buttons. As you can see, you now have an alternating quad flash. The lights are flashing to the assigned flash rate. If you're the type of person that likes a faster flash rate, you can increase the value by pressing and holding button 1. The light heads will turn off and buttons 2 and 3 have been reassigned as slow down and speed up buttons. To increase the flash rate, repeatedly press button 3 to speed up the tempo. Between 5 to 10 presses should be enough. When you're done, release all the buttons. The flasher will then display the new flash rate. To reset the flash rate to the original default setting, press and hold buttons 1, 2, and 3, and then release. 
you'll see that the pattern returns to the factory default setting. For slower patterns, just press and hold button 1 and use button 2 to slow down the flash rate. By scrolling forward one pattern, you now have a simultaneous flash pattern. The ability to select the pulse count and flash rate on just these two patterns alone covers about 80% of the flash patterns available on traditional flashers on the market today. You still have 14 more patterns to select from. The next two patterns are the inverted alternating and inverted simultaneous flash pattern. As you can see, one lighthead is always illuminated while the other is pulsing. Patterns 5 and 6 are the PSIG alert patterns. You might recognize the pattern, but we've enhanced it a bit. As you can see, it's a series of pulses followed by a short steady burn. What you now have is the ability to control the pulse speed and count. If you want a faster pulse, just speed it up. If you want a double flash instead of a quad flash, just change it. You get more options and attention getting patterns with this type of control. Pattern 7 is our left both right both pattern and will display whatever pulse setting you have on each light head. Pattern 8 is our left double both right double both pattern and displays the pulse setting only on the left and right light heads. When both light heads come on, they will be displayed as a double flash. Patterns 9 through 14 are the variable speed patterns. As previously mentioned, because the flash rate is automatically variable, we're unable to set a fixed value. However, we are able to control another feature. Because the pattern displays a range of flash rates from slow to fast, we have elected to control where that starting point is. Using the same features for changing the tempo, you can move forward or backwards this starting point. As you can see, the flash pattern doesn't take as long to speed up and slow down. The flash pattern can be set the same way in the opposite direction to increase the time it takes to reach the peak of the fast pattern. As with the other patterns, a simultaneous pattern is also available. Patterns 11 through 14 are unique as well where they have been programmed to do what we call ramp up and ramp down patterns. The previous variable speed pattern is a ramp up followed by a ramp down creating a smooth transition. We've broken this pattern into two effects to create an attention-getting pattern. In the ramp up pattern, the pattern begins at your preset value and increases to its fastest flash rate. Once it reaches the peak, it immediately resets to the slow flash rate. Ramp down is just the opposite effect, starting fast and then slowing down and then immediately going fast again. Both simultaneous patterns offer the same features as well. Lastly, patterns 15 and 16 provide fade effects. These patterns were designed to simulate the noticeably slower burn on and off effect of a halogen bulb. The tempo feature allows you the ability to adjust the burn on and off times. Remember, this flasher allows you to connect 5 amps of light heads per side. You're not limited to just one pair of LED grill lights. If your grill light setup consists of four light heads, you could set up your light heads in an X pattern like this. You could easily connect your grill lights, LED hideaways, intersection lights, and even rear lights to one flasher for a synchronized setup. Finally, with this flasher, you have the ability to select your custom pattern for both modes 1 and 2. One might set up a fast flash pattern for mode 2 when responding, and then when arriving on scene, switch to mode 1 for a slower flash pattern. If you're thinking about using this flasher on any type of white lights, let me show you another cool feature. The last item in the flash pattern list is a steady burn. Because it's not a pattern, we're not including it in the official pattern count, but is available if you wish to use it. Number 17 is the steady burn feature. If you configure this flasher to steady burn on mode 2 and any flash pattern you want on mode 1, you can turn on the lights at any time to light up an area regardless if the light heads were flashing or not. Mode 2 overrides Mode 1. With this flasher, you have the ability to now do what you want to do. 
If you have any questions about this or any other product, please do not hesitate to contact us via email or phone. We are more than happy to answer any questions. Please visit us at www.ledguy.net for more information. Thank you for visiting ERM, and thank you for watching this video.